This question looks like a simplify question. Simplify questions are typically very short, somewhere between one and three lines long, and contain some type of expression or equation. Now, I do not see an equation or an expression here, so maybe I'm wrong about simplify, and that's okay. Like, I based, that, I based it on the fact that it was short. When I look at the actual question, it says, if m percent of 300 is 150, what is m percent of 180? And I realize that this is actually a translation question. Translation questions are very cool on this test because what it is leading us to is a simple translation of every single word in the question, right? So M percent represents M over 100. Of is multiplication, 300, right? So M over 100 times 300 equals 150 which means I can actually solve for what M is. I can do that by cross-canceling here, right? That becomes one and three. This becomes three M equals 150. We divide both sides by three and I get that M is equal to 50, right? 150 divided by three is 50, which means that M percent is 50%. So then the question says, what is M percent of 180? Well, that means what is 50%, right? Because we know M percent now. What is 50% of, again, means multiply. So 50% times 180. Again, I could write that like I did here. 50% as 50 over 100 times 180. 100 goes into 100 once. 100 goes into 180 1.8 times. We're left with 50 times 1.8. I'm going to go to my calculator and see what, what is 50 times 1.8. In fact, I'm going to just do the math here. 50 times 1.8, 8 times 0, 8 times 5 is 40, 1 times 0, 1 times 5, so that's 900, but we have a decimal place movement, so we go there. So the answer here is 90, and therefore the correct answer is choice B. So not simplification, but translation.